And again, this is Matthew Boyle here for Breitbart News at the Conservative Political Action Conference. And my guest right now is William Temple of the Golden Isles Tea Party from Brunswick, Georgia. Now, William, you were the guy who led the uh, the walkout, the mass walkout of hundreds of people walking out on uh, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush uh, during his speech at, here at CPAC. Can you kind of explain why is it that you led a walkout on Jeb Bush? What is it about him that's so bad for conservatives? Well, when I was in Brunswick, Georgia, we saw that CPAC CPAC had invited Jeb Bush, Kevin McCarthy, and Maya Love up here to speak. We wondered where Dave Bratt was, who had replaced Cantor. Why wasn't he speaking? And I said, well, if anything, I'm not just going to go support Ted Cruz and Governor Walker, who I believe are the two best candidates. I'm going to protest Jeb Bush. I'm going to walk out on him. And so we planned a mass bathroom, uh, uh, mass, massive bathroom walkout. And we notified, I think, Carl Cameron with Fox. Fox then notified all the media. Well, we wanted the media to cover it so that the American people could see that the conservative people are not in favor of Jeb Bush since he is not a conservative. He supports Common Core. He's for big government. He's for amnesty. He's talking about loving the people coming across the border. And we want. How, how, how does that make you feel? How, how is it? How is it, uh, illegal immigration? He says it's an act of love when people cross the border illegally. I mean, they're breaking our laws. How is that an act of love? And exactly, he he calls us racist if we don't if we don't want to run out and hug everybody that's illegally crossing our border. We want whoever the nominee is, to be concerned about American citizens first. All of the families that have their sons and daughters living in their basements because they can't get a decent job. And here's our government, both parties, trying to get us to bring in five million illegals who will destroy the state budgets on education and all of our hard-earned Social Security and tax deductions, and we're just gonna hand it to their first act is to break American law. Now, one of the things that's really interesting is, is that, so there were some people in there who were supporting Jeb Bush, um, but one of the things we've learned since that happened is, is that it turns out, and we've got evidence out there now, it's all breaking all across the media, is that all, many of the, uh, I don't know if uh, all of them, but many of the people who were in that room supporting Jeb Bush were bust in, bought, and paid for. What do you think about that? Well, we knew when we told the media that we were going to walk out on him, that they would do exactly what the Ron Paul people used to do and bus in people to make sure he had a crowd. We weren't worried about that. We just wanted to be faithful to be the, the even if it was a minority of people, to get up, walk out on them, and let them know the Constitution gives us freedom of association. We chose not to associate with Jeb Bush, and we called it, we weren't being mean, we didn't yell at him, we didn't violate any, any I've, I've had people come up and say, oh, that was disrespectful. Well, I'm tired as after eight years of pounding the streets and helping helping McCain and helping helping Romney and, and working for You're them. You're tired of losing. We need a conservative to win, right? So we need we need a revolt and we want a conservative conference for conservatives. If the establishment rhinos want a conference, let them get one. We'll leave them alone and they can leave us alone. Now uh, this isn't your first time engaging in, uh, you know, activism in, in Washington. You, you were telling me earlier before we came on the air here that you that you uh, that you led the march on Washington. Tell us a little bit about that and what and what you did there. Well, and Freedom Works contacted me almost a year before the big march, and they asked me if I would lead a colonial group uh, to be the first ones down the street. We actually got a fife and drum corps. We had uh, colonial uh, reenactors from all over who identified with the Tea Party. And uh, so we led that march. And uh, it was 1.9 million people. And it was the, I used to work for the Secret Service. I worked 32 years for the federal government. I worked for Secret Service. I worked for the Secretary of the Air Force's office at the Pentagon. And then finally retired from Department of Homeland Security. So I know what the federal government doesn't do very well. Now. Um, uh, tell us about the get-up here. What is, what, what, who are you dressed up as, and, and can, can you um, uh, give, give us a little bit of history? I play the part of Button Gwinnett, who is the first signer of the Declaration of Independence from Georgia. And on the first tax day protest in Atlanta, Georgia, I decided to go up and play the part of Button Gwinnett. 
and uh, 40,000 people were there, all concerned about 13 trillion in national debt, which is now 18 trillion and growing. And we decided that uh, we were going to protest. We had to do something to stop the massive waste of the American taxpayers' money. And uh, many felt even then that it might be too late with 13 trillion. So we, we participated in that massive protest. And now we're up to 18 trillion. Now tell us about this uh, flag here. What is this flag? It's a don't tread on me flag. Well, right? this, this actually was the first flag of the Marine Corps. Colonel Gadsden from South Carolina gave this to the first Commodore of the Navy, and they flew this on the first appropriated four ships out of Boston Harbor, and the first five companies of Marines, uh, the original Leathernecks, they wore a leather uh, cord around their neck, they were the ones that, that went out to fly this flag. Benjamin Franklin picked the rattlesnake and he picked it because an adult female rattlesnake has 13 buds on its rattle, one for each of the colonies. It also is a traditionally American snake, and because it doesn't bite you till it warns you. So he wanted the British to see this, and the words don't tread on me were there for the British ships to see. We were not able to capture their reinforced ships, but it was the beginning of our fledgling navy. All right, again, folks, this has been Matthew Boyle here for Breitbart News. My guest has been William Temple of the Golden Islands, uh, Golden Isles Tea Party in uh, Brunswick, Georgia. Uh, thank you so much, William, and uh, uh, for, for, tell us where we can learn a little bit more about your organization. Well, uh, I'll be in Trenton, New Jersey uh, on, on tax day, April 15th. I'm going up there to protest the socialist Chris Christie and to give Patrick Henry's famous speech a little updated on the steps of the Capitol there. Uh, I go all over the country every tour. I, I have two or three events a month uh, representing the Tea Party. The Golden Isles Tea Party formed right at the beginning of, of the uh, Tea Party. And uh, we support candidates that support limiting the federal government to the constitutional principles. Uh, and so we are the center of the government, not the extreme right, not the, not the left. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks.